guys welcome back to this channel and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing by pressing the notification bell you'll be the first to know when i upload a new video the returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back to this channel by the way if you are new to this channel support this channel by subscribing and clicking the bell icon you'll be the first to know when i upload a new video we are still looking at the uae labor law 2022 remember we are all super excited to have the new labor law into effect and what are we talking about when you talk about the new labor law remember this is coming into effect 2nd february as part of the amendments in the uae remember this is much as for the past time it's only going to benefit the employees or the workers in uh, the uae when you talk about the uae remember we are talking about um the seven emirates that make up the uae and we're talking about dubai Abu Dhabi, Sherija, Ajman, and all those are other Emirates. And all workers are going to benefit. And if you're planning to work in the UAE, I think this is going to be the perfect time. And if you're already there, I know you must be super excited to work in the UAE. Remember, we are going to talk about the major key amendments that are in this law. What amendments we are talking about? We are going to talk about the amendments, what you should know exactly what has changed and what are you supposed to know as an employee an employee in the uae one i'll just go straight into the video we are going to look at one of the amendments one of the amendments is a three-year contract remember this has to be limited not unlimited so meaning that if you are going to work in the uae your contract is going to be a three-year contract which will be subjected to renew in any case but still it has to be renewed still at the same time or renewed in the same period of time because that is what is going to be paid pertaining on that contract that you're talking about i'm just going to read through you i'm just going to read for you just a little bit of the summary uh, of part of the amendments that are, are, are regarding the three-year contract uh, which is going to be fixed actually we talk about the three-year contract is going to be a fixed contract so what does a three-year contract what does it mean and what is going to mean right he said a three-year contract this is a limited or fixed contract which may not exceed three years and is renewable for the same period or less upon agreement of both the parties so that contract you're going to sign is going to be for three years so you can decide to renew that contract three-year contract the same time or the same three years or even less but it will depend on the agreement between the two parties what two parties we are talking about we are talking about the employee and the employer we are talking about you person who is employed and the person who is giving you the job although the unlimited contracts pursuant to the existing labor law that is the federal labor law number eight of 1980 still apply but but remember that when this new law labor law comes into effect all the old contracts all employers are only given a one growth period of only one year by 2023 to have converted all the old contracts into the new contracts of a three-year contract hope i'm very clear yes the new labor law is coming into effect february 2022 remember some of these amendments to the draft new contracts you to all employers will be given a gross period of one year so meaning that as the new labor law will come into effect on february 2022 remember we had the old decree of the old contracts over uh, the decree of eight uh, labor clause of eight of 1998 they will still exist but all the employers will be given a gross period of one year until 2023 to convert the new contracts of their employees or to draft new contracts with their employees and uh, uh, for a three-year deal that is what it is like so therefore all employers will be given only a gross period of one year to update the old contract to the new contract hope i'm very clear the main point is that the new labor law coming to effect 2022 you will be required to sign a three-year contract 
with your employer. And this contract, you may either decide to renew this contract for the same time of three years or even less than that period of time. And this will actually depend on your agreement between you and your employer who is giving you the job. So this is super, 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 super good. Super good. For those people that are going to get employment in the UAE, it's super good. Hope I've tried to share up something with you. So remember, much as the new law is going to come into effect, yes, it takes time to convert the contract, to draft the new contracts, pursuant of the new contract. It should not scare you that as I'm still running on the old contract, this is a labor law that is going to come into effect and it's going to change automatically. Meaning that if you already been in the UAE still running with the old contract, you automatically be reversed to the new contract. But the new paper signing will be drafted that you'll have to sign the new contract for yourself. Hope it's very clear. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for tuning into this channel. Let us get to try to get more updates about the UAE labor law. I want you to know what is pertaining and what is moving with the UAE labor law. Are we benefiting? Are we going to benefit? But I think we are going to benefit because this so much is going to favor the relationship between the employee and the employer that all people should be equally treated in the UAE. Thank you so much for coming back this year. See you again as we try to talk about more amendments that are in the UAE labor law 2020 talk.